Hey there folks, this is Greeny XI welcoming you right back to Let's Play Rusty Lake. This is episode Ooh, Christ, 24. <laughs> In last episode we did the ninth plague, or lately. That's the latest thing we did. And that was darkness with all the constellations and stuff like that. So now, ooh, the actual cube. What is the tenth the plague tenth gonna be? Plague. Death of the firstborn. Death of the firstborn. Oh no. Is that us? <laughs> I can't think. Uh, I wish we could see the photo again of, you know, the family. Because they only gave it like two seconds in the first part. Ooh. Okay, we need a frog. We need to sacrifice a frog. Okay, and I imagine this will be the last part, by the way. I don't know for certain, like, but... Uh, blood? Blood and frog, I think. Some sort of liquid, anyway. What's this one? Ah, we're doing the ten plagues. Okay. Oh, feather. Okay. Uh, darkness with the moon, maybe? <clears throat> Let me turn my volume up a little bit. I didn't quite catch on it. And I'm not going to catch it again. Yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> Okay, we need to make an arrow, maybe. I hope I'm not the one to die tonight. Not feather in the cap? No? Mm, somebody is. An apple? Okay. Ooh, I was... Unintentional. I know what we got to do. Wait. We need to get something pointy to go on that. Oh, okay. There's plenty of items around the place. Green, white, red, white, green. Two eyes, so the blind woman. Something to do with her, maybe? What's that? That's where we got the rope from. Okay. Uh, okay, one of those two things again. Locust or cigar I mean. Apple, that's gonna be yours. I can see what's coming by it. I hope I'm not the one to die tonight. Maybe not. I really thought. Oh, the music's nice. This game, these games do really nice music. Moved a little bit. Okay. How about you? Green, white, and red. <gasps> oh, what was it? Oh, shit. Green. It was green, white, red. I think I got it. Green. Yep. White. We haven't got anything to wash it off. <laughs> That's what I used to be really bad at with painting. Making the uh, Christ, the the paintbrush like clean enough to use another one. Maybe I didn't have patience. I can't really remember. It was a long time ago since I've done any painting. But even still, green. Okay. Candle. Okay. We need to put something in there that it can eat. Maybe the apple, actually. I was thinking that's what's going to be short. Bull. Are we just meant to light all of those, or are we meant to put things in them? Ooh, what's, what's Mr. Owl doing? We celebrate the day of the lake tonight. Be ready. Okay. I don't know what she's meant to be old in. <laughs> An apple. Cooked apple. Oh, Christ. What's this? This is where they all are. Oh, shit. This is going to be... Oh, this is a lot. Blood was over by there, I think. On the right of it was... Frog. I remember a frog. So I know those two are right. That's something. Ooh. What do we turn that for? Not sure. Um, I think that's... I think the bug was by there. Darkness, I think, was outside by there, but I'm not sure. I think we're going to have to go back and 
figure things out again. This ain't too bad, actually. It could have been worse. I don't know what that's about. Owl. Blood and Fog. They were together on the front entrance. Two bugs at W. L is like two weather or moon and snow, I guess. Okay, what's this one? That bug. And where are we two in relation to everything? We've gone right down the path, right? That sort of bug. We've gone right down the path, we're outside the house. There we go. Not sure what that one was. Let's go back out and see. Bull. It's a lot to remember, you know. Up there, let's go and check out what those two are. Probably the two weather ones. No. You've seen the moon. Oh, hello. Ah, oh, owl. Okay, we'll uh, get back to that. Hand? A hand! Can't remember a hand one. What's this? The snow. Okay. I don't remember a hand. Let's put the snow in the right place. Yeah, there's a hand. I can't remember that being one of the plates. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I guess it must have been. They're definitely right. Top are definitely right. These might be the wrong way around. These three. The tower and back on the fork of the path. Tower and the fork of the path. That's the flying bug by there, on the fork. Moon. Flying. Moon. Flying again. Oh, those two are a bit... Closed wings. Closed wings, moon, open. I know what I mean. Don't worry. I think. Closed wings. These two were the wrong way around. Okay, that should be it. Okay, I don't know what to do from here, though. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, we can move it around as well. Why? Ah, okay. So I just noticed this the key up the top. <laughs> so we've got the ruler. This is just to make it easier to see how to figure something out, but a bit confused. Right, so we only need six of them looking at this. Teardrop to frog. Let me get my pen. So we've got... No. Yeah, I am going to write it down because there might be numbers to add to it. Teardrop or blood or whatever it was. O and then frog. <laughs> I'm not drawing that. Uh, bug to open wing. I know. I've started to make connection with that so I know what it means. Bug no wings is a W to the open wings, bug. So it's bug no wings, bug open wings, and bug closed wings, that's what I'm thinking of. <laughs> and then we got moon. Is L with uh, snow or hail, but okay. So if we go, we need to find like the, the numbers from now, right? So between these two, there are one, two, three, four. So that's a four, right? It don't matter about the angle, but it seems to be. So then bug no wings and bug open wings. It is these two. We're going from the center. It must be from the dots, right? That's why it's... That's why the dots are there. One, two, three, four, five. And 
moon and snow. Uh, where's the moon? There it is. I see it. Rabbit. That's the full 10, right? So that's 10. Let me double check something a sec. Because I didn't go from dot to dot as far as I can remember down here. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so it's 4, 5, 10. How can I do 10 as another number? I've got it. I just don't know where to use it now. Hmm, I bet they will. Bet everyone's gonna be evil. Don't know what to do with you, Mr. Chicken. Go your feather, that's fine. We can't finish the arrow yet. I hope I'm not the one to die tonight. Meh. <laughs> <laughs> Huh. Still haven't got everything we need for this, which worries me because we haven't got too many options in this. Done that. Bug open wings, so you. Five. I don't understand why I do. There's nothing more. Ooh! There's another way to go up, I forgot. Tonight, Lake will show her true self to us. Be ready. Okay. Right, we just go for the one that's shaking. Reminds me of Project Zero a little bit, or Fatal Frame. Just the the ritual aspect, not the not the ghosts. Well, there might be ghosts coming. You never know. But. Uh, Okay, keep it going, keep it going. This is going on for a while. It doesn't feel like it's repeating, so... Must be doing it right. That's taking forever. I don't know if I'm meant to be picking something up from this or just it's just a bit of a tedious puzzle. It's one of the two. Oh I forgot this was a thing, so I've come back to the, the hut at the end where the owl is. So we were given four, five, ten, right? So always four. I completely forgot about this. Uh W is five. I've been wandering around for ages. L is ten. Yes! Ooh, the well is gone, so we're finally going down. Or we not? What did that do? Ooh, the rope. There we go. We saw that, what's her name? The main woman who sacrificed your mother died by her, so. It's a four letter word. Okay, we can't do. What do we do? Lake? Day of the Lake kind of thing? No? How do we know what to do down here now? I'm trying to think of words. Like words that relate to this game. Owls? Nope, not owls. I can hear hooting in the background. You might not be able to hear it because, uh, oh, I don't know, editing and all that shit. Um, there's a lake which doesn't. Ah, oh, there is a K. Where's the L? I thought it saw an L, but the J was hidden. You can try it. 
No, it's not E anyway. Huh. Sacrifice. That's just four letters words and I can't... <gasps> I've realised something. You can actually tap both arms. So I think these are on the right side. Or his left side. More on this side. Equal. If you tap his head, he'll do both. Because we've noticed that for a while. i pressed that enough times. Uh, four on this side. Okay, I think I figured it out now. I was trying to write down... Like, which number of bones... There we go. I found that difficult. <laughs> it took a while. I was trying to write down which number of bones I make one really long number, but that's just not what it was. If we check the pointy bone now on yet, we got an arrow and we take it back down to... We're making progress now. Now that part's done. Uh-oh. <laughs> He doesn't seem to care. Arrow back, okay. Fair enough, but um What do I do? Do I <laughs> his leg? Uh oh, we need to get a hat. How do we aim it properly? Like controls wise. Nope, that's the leg again. He doesn't mind being hit, does he? He, he really doesn't. Yeah, okay, but... I need to aim it higher. There we go, I might do it. <laughs> Not quite. Bit lower, so three up, I think. One, two. Is that right? Or is that too much? Is that what I did last time? No. Oh, the hat came off. Which I think is what's meant to happen. Ah, now we need to hit that. I thought that might be the case at some point. Two, I think three again. Should we try it? Yeah. A worm. Okay, chicken. Baka! Oh, well, I guess it could be, but this is what we haven't done anything with. Hey, an egg. Now we take that to Granny, which I think is over this way. Yep. <gasps> Chick is alive! <laughs> So we've got a chick, but what do we do with that? We celebrate the day of the lake tonight. Be ready. I don't know what to do with the chick. <laughs> you never know. No, it's nothing. Still haven't got like something to use there, have we? The owl! Maybe? Yes. Eat that chick. Spew something back out. Good birdie. Oh shit, it's giving us a puzzle. So the X marks the X, so we get an S there. Okay. Looks like a... It's gonna be a word, right? V, where's the V? There it is. O? Um, two dot to two dot, X to X. It's just an M there. Small slum. slum. I would say owls, but uh, can't be. Can't be that simple, surely. Slum, slum. <laughs> Why am I finding it hard to make a four letter word?
O-M-L-S. Anyway, anyway, let's go back down and see if we can make a word out of it while we see the limited letters kind of thing. O-L-M-S. O. Is it really? Oh my god. I'm sure I guessed that, didn't I? Maybe you can't guess it. Maybe you got to do other things first. Okay, that takes a round one. It's as simple as this. <laughs> okay. Masks. Ooh. Maybe this is where the masks come from for, for like, the later timeline games. One, two, three, triangle, four, square, five. One, two, three, oh. One. Seven, eight, nine, here we go. I guess it must be where the puzzle, the masks come from for this. Right, what do we do for this one? Huh? I don't understand. Which line they're on, but the opposite. No? Which side of the line I'm at? Hmm. Is it trial and error? No. I think it might be. There might be a reason to it, but... Ah! Ah! I think I was onto something with which side of the line they're on. But, God knows. It's done anyway. Okay, what's this one? Just go round? How do you know? I don't understand how you know. Go back round three again, right? Four? No. Okay. I got this, I think. Three on the other side, and then back round. For, is it the last three? Ah! <laughs> I'm, I'm acting frustrated, but I'm, I'm not too bad. I'm just... Yeah. Anyway, three, and now one... I'm going to guess it's going to be one, then one, then one again. Just to be as awkward as possible. Yes. Ah. Five times for the fifth one. There we go. Easy. Ooh, what have we got by you? Oh. Yeah, yeah, boy, Okay, so we need to get the last one. Ah, oh, I know where this was. I don't know if I remember. Yeah, it was like an angry owl face, kind of. Eyebrows. Right. Okay, I think I might have this without having to go back out and everything. And check the painting at Granny's place. Oh, keep going back around, back around. Here we go. Got the last one. My memories are the key, not only to the past, but 
also to the future. Uh huh. Send into the great depths of the lake. We will do just that, I think. Going for the cube in. Am I supposed to have the cube? Okay, we're back. Hello. It is time. It is time. But I can't go anyway. <laughs> Are we meant to give him? Right, there we go. Ah, I see. You can be the deer. Oh, it doesn't suit you. Pigeon. Here we go. Uh, the boar? You seem like a boar. All you do is grunt. And the deer, definitely you. You are ready to meet your destiny. Oh, yes. Is this the end? Have we done it? <gasps> hey, here they come. Even back then, all these masks and stuff were a thing. Whoa. Are we on fire? Can we get out? Could we climb down? going to say these are different elements of the elixir that we saw at the other game because the hair was in it and the heart but there was definitely not a towel <laughs> so at the end of the day we're still being sacrificed right in the flames Did you find all 50 achievements? I don't know. Let's have a look. Oh, we definitely didn't. <laughs> Still. Um, that was good fun. I really enjoyed that one. It was it was a nice change of pace. Like It still had all, it still had all the elixir elements, elixir of life and all that stuff. But it was going into the past and getting away from the main family. Uh, so it was nice to have a change like that. Anyways, we're done. We have done another game. So, the next one will be Paradox. There's actually a film, like Cube Escape Paradox is called. Um, there's actually a film on Steam for free, if you wanted to watch it. Uh, it's called Paradox, Cube Escape Paradox, so search, have a good search for it. I can't put it up on your, I think there would be content, <laughs> ID things. But, it's on Steam, you can also watch it on YouTube for free. It's only about 20 minutes long. I'm not sure if you're meant to watch it before Cubescape Paradox, which we'll be playing next, or after it. I, I don't know. I don't know anything about it. I am going to play the game personally. I'm going to play Cubescape Paradox and then watch the film after it. So I feel like that might be the right way around, but that's not based on anything. I haven't read anything or whatever. But yeah, that was good fun. I'll, uh, I'll see you in a bit. This has been Greeny XI. Hope you've enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. See you again in a bit.